from 20x to 80x. Um, we got this off Amazon for about $145 and I was a little worried um, it'd be pretty cheap but overall I'm pretty impressed with the quality. Um, it's entirely made from metal and glass. Um, so I guess going through some of the features um, you can adjust the eye pieces. Um, you can also adjust the height of the microscope body. So if you're working with a sample that's a lot thicker you can compensate for that I've also got the focusing knobs here and you can choose to light things from below or from above which is great but as far as I can tell you can't adjust how bright the lighting is um, other than that you've got the clips for microscope slides and the objective can be set to either 4x or 2x As for the eyepieces, they're either 10x or 20x. So the 10x can be used with the 2x and 4x objectives to get you 20 and 40, and then the 20 can be used with the 2x and 4x to get you 40 and 80. Um, comes with the eye covers, as well as a different base if you're just using the illumination from above. Um, and this one here is glass. You can see there's the bulb there, and then the same bulb is used for the other lighting. Here is a fly under 20x. It's tricky taking video with my camera through the eyepiece, but you can see that the image quality is good. Um, and now I've switched to the 40x, and the image quality is still pretty good. Note that the image takes up the whole screen. So now I'm switching to the 20x eyepiece, and this is looking through the 2x objective. So we're still at 40x here, and my camera's still set at exactly the same settings as before, but now the image is no longer taking up the whole screen. Um, so the lighting's cut way down. Your eye needs to be pretty close um, to see everything. This is now 80x. Note that my camera really isn't doing this justice. It looks a lot better in person but still the quality with the 20X eyepiece is a little disappointing. So if you're wondering what the difference is between a fancy microscope that's worth thousands and the M-scope, um, here's the demonstration. So we're looking again at the same fly as before. So this is at about 7X magnification. I'm just zooming in here with my camera as I had it before with the M-scope, and now I'm actually zooming in with the microscope. You can see I can infinitely adjust my zoom. So this should be about 40x right here, and 80x is about right here. So you can see that this microscope has much brighter lighting and much better image quality. So here are some side-by-side -side comparisons between the two. Here's 20x. There's 40x and 80x.